Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's JR. You're checking out the Sport Brief. Don't adjust your phone, your computer, whatever the hell it is. I'm here. I'm on YouTube. I'm on the internet. I haven't gone no damn where. I've been busy. I've had a hell of an interesting year, but my black ass is still here. And if you want to know where I've been besides being on YouTube, I started kicking things around on WFA, and that's the sports leader here in New York City. You can also listen online, WFA, and I have some other radio opportunities coming up. Uh, you can also find me with my main man, boxing analyst, Teddy Atlas. We have a podcast that will be dropping. And at the same time, you can always keep up with me and follow me on Instagram at JR Sport Brief. If you don't know who the hell I am or you've never watched, I run my mouth here. And I talk to athletes and I have a good time. But most importantly, I talk to you. So if you got a question, a comment, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Facebook, I'm everywhere. Everything is at JR Sport Brief. And with the Eagles and the Falcons kicking off in a little while, and let's see if the Falcons actually go out there and choke. Maybe they'll choke early in the season as opposed to choking later in the season. I wanted to give my top six reasons why the NFL sucks. These are things that are probably in the NFL's control. Some of them may be a little bit out of their control, but this is not like 1999 and all I did was watch football and we didn't think about anything else. There's so much more criticism and I got the top six reasons right now why the NFL sucks and I want you to put your thoughts and comments and reasons down below. And yes, I read them. I see what you have there. This is in no order and we're starting right here. What the living hell is a tackle? The NFL has an issue switching and changing up the rules. You can't lower your head. You can't lower your body. You can't lower your shoulder. Well, how the hell are you supposed to take down somebody like Le'Veon Bell? Or whenever Le'Veon Bell decides to show up, right now he's sitting on his couch. Let's say Todd Gurley. How the hell are you supposed to lower Todd Gurley? If Todd Gurley lowers his shoulder, how are you supposed to tackle him? You end up taking out the damn guy's knees, and then he, he's a chop block, and it's a penalty. So the NFL is basically turning into two-hand touch. We don't need a bunch of pansies out there playing football figure out what the hell the tackle rule is. We know everything favors the offense nowadays. It's pretty sickening. Take that out of there. Next up, why does the NFL suck? That man right there, yeah. Roger Goodell, he calls the rules. And by the way, Roger Goodell has followed me on Twitter for like eight years. I have no idea why. I don't know if an intern clicked the wrong button, but hi, Roger Goodell. There are just so many discrepancies in regards to the punishments that go out in the NFL. He's supposed to be riding and running the ship, and he does a terrible job. Nobody knows what the hell is going on. And I don't think he knows what's going on in that photo as well. The next, what's a tackle? Well, what the hell exactly is a catch? Let's ask Des Bryant what a catch is. He doesn't know either. Did he juggle the ball? Was he on his back? Did it bounce off a guy's back? How, if you catch the ball, if you have the ball within two damn hands, or one hand if your name is Odell Beckham, and you are inside the white lines, that's a catch. Stop spending 25 minutes under a stupid blanket trying to figure it out. These referees, sometimes I think they look at other things when they go into the replay booth. Why does the NFL suck? That guy. And that guy. And that guy, and that guy, and that guy. Those are the owners of the NFL. Can you imagine having those guys be your grandparents? Unless they were anting up loads and buckets of cash, would you want to deal with them? The NFL owners, granted, most of them are like 60, 70, and 80-year-old guys who don't know a damn thing about the rest of the world besides their NFL play toys. They approve half of these damn rules, and, and I'm not even going to get into the whole flag controversy. A lot of them, uh, that's their own damn fault, okay? They don't know how to relate to their players. They treat them like cattle. Yeah, I said it. They treat their damn players like slaves. The owners is what's wrong with the NFL. Next up, commercials. How many damn commercials do we need? Can we speed the football game up a little bit? I know it's a long game, but we do we really need a commercial after the kickoff, after the first play, and then come back to watch them play some more? There are enough damn stoppages when you have replays and guys not knowing what a tackle is or a penalty is, let alone for us to have to sit down and watch more commercials. Nobody wants to see damn Papa John and cardboard pizza. And thank God Papa John's ass is out of there. And last, why does the NFL suck? Because they got to deal with that guy right there. Who the hell wants to think about that orange freak when you're watching NFL football? 
There's a lot of issues there, and uh, Roger Goodell doesn't know how to handle that one. That guy's still pissed that he couldn't get an NFL team years ago. Those are my top six reasons why the NFL sucks. Hey, we can sit here and probably list 25 others. At the end of the day, I love sports like all of you. I love the game of football. I want to see it progress. But you know what? In all honesty, I wouldn't be surprised as the popularity of the NFL goes down over the next, I don't know, 10, 20 years, that it devolves into two-hand touch and there is no more NFL as you know it. What do you think? This is JR. You're checking out the Sport Brief Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Make sure you subscribe and hit me up on Instagram. I need to follow some new accounts. Come through and check me out. I'll be back on Monday. Make sure you subscribe. Peace. The NFL is great, but it sucks. Get it together. <laughs>